Uh, hi all, we're from Press Grow, a social enterprise looking to help create mentally healthy workplaces. My name is Ruth Taylor. Hi, I'm Ray. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. It's nice to see you today. One of the models we're looking for is a Maori health model. Tafaru Tapufa. Is that right, Ray? Tafaru Tapufa. Yep. Yeah, well done. So from my understanding, there's four main sections, eh? So like the walls of the Maori meeting house. Is that right? The the funny? Is that that's correct, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you've got something to represent this, I believe. I do. <clears throat> This is not a, obviously not a meeting house, but it's something that's very special to me. And it, it represents the balance that we have when everything's going well. Yeah. So we have our four pillars being our four legs. We, we're just going to assume that today. Yep. Would you like to explain how, how we need to be, Ruth? Okay, so my understanding. So we've got a kind of leg or pillar for our physical health and well-being yeah uh, we've got one for our spiritual well-being one from our kind of family whanau yeah. and our mental health so that's yep yeah, is that right so my yeah, understanding so is and I, I do like this analogy because of this because when things are thrown at us it affects more than just the one thing because if you're trying to hold your wonderful elephant with kind of you know four points it's probably fairly easy to hold is that right is it kind of fairly that's correct yeah so things were like covid uh, suddenly we can't go and see our family you know we can't connect with our friends our colleagues so suddenly you have to let go of one of those legs so are you still feeling reasonably secure with your with your your elephant right now yeah he's 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 okay he's just he's a little bit wobbly okay yeah and so now possibly uh, spiritual maybe we're not able to get out to the beach you know go surfing do, do the kind of exercise and stuff that we like doing we sort of stop walking the dog or we're stuck walking around around our own our room so now maybe you've lost another leg you know you're, you're not able to support yourself quite as much as you were so looking a little less stable there Ray. you're kind of wobbling around yeah, a, yes, a little less stable yes <laughs> he's then, still got a little bit of grounding he's just hanging on and then mental health wise, maybe you lose your job. I know there's an awful lot of people who have lost their jobs in this time. And suddenly you're trying to hold on to everything with just that one leg. And yeah. I don't I know you don't want to break it. to balance. No, you don't want to hurt your elephant right there, Ray. So yeah, keep keep a good hold of it. <laughs> but I really do like that fact that if there's those important sections to how we look after ourselves, eh? And I think we probably need to break those down a little bit more into what we can do to actually help build those back up. And I think that's something which we can talk about this morning. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a great idea because quite often we don't know where we're out of balance. Yeah. And it's all, yeah. all too easy sometimes to just blame it on something like the external factors of, of COVID because we can't control that. And then when we look within, if we start looking at what factors we can control, we start getting a sense, a better sense of balance because we're, we're not feeling so topsy-turvy, I guess. That's cool. 